In the previous video, I showed that if we were trying to locate a root and we found that substituting in two values where one was positive and one was negative, or the values that we got, one was positive, one was negative, it didn't matter which way around, we definitely could say that there was a root between those two values that are substituting in. So let's say we wanted to confirm that x cubed minus 5x squared minus 2x plus 3 equals 0 has a root between 5 and 6. So let's say f of x is the x cubed minus 5x squared minus 2x plus 3. And so I substitute in 5. So I get 5 cubed, take away 5 times 5 squared, take away 2 times 5, plus 3. So 5 cubed, take away 5 times 5 squared, take away 2 times 5, plus 3, and I get minus 7. Now let's try f of 6. I have 6 cubed, take away 5 times 6 squared, take away 2 times 6, plus 3. So 6 cubed, take away 5 times 6 squared, take away 2 times 6, plus 3, and that gets me 27. So because 1 was negative and 1 was positive, because we have a change in sign, that implies that there is a root between x equals 5 and x equals 6. Okay? That is what we can say. So the next uh, part that we're going to be looking at is how we can actually home in on what that actual root is.